From a business point of view and being, uh, you know, uh, an entrepreneur and a business speaker, one would argue that I'm not fearful, it's just that I am cautious. And when it comes to making business decisions that sometimes you try and like, oh, I'm not so sure and such, how do we get over that? How do we stop being over-conscious? Well, that's a good, yeah, that's a good question. Now, anyone who gets into business, it's part and, and possible to be afraid of failure. And what happens is you have, a lot of people don't have confidence or people to back them up to actually move on with what they want to do. And that's why they end up being afraid to start a new process. Sometimes there's a lack of, you know, um, funding. Sometimes there's a lack of support from family. But I'll, I say that it's, it's good to try and just um, dive in the deep end. Because sometimes you never know what's ahead of you until you give it a try. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now how do I know that I have a condition that I am actually, I have this intense fear of failure? How would I know? Maybe I'm just being overly cautious and such. Reha? Mm -hmm. um, I think it is a minute you're unable to do the things that you set out to do. Like say, for example, if you want to, you've always wanted to start this business. Like you know you're good at something. You know maybe you're good at um, social media management or you're good at um, tailoring or whatever it is, baking. Yeah, but you're just afraid to take that first step, and mm. that is how. Like you know, you just keep saying, "Oh yeah, I'll I'll, I'll register the company." Procrastination. Procrastinating. Yeah, mm. I'll register. I'll do this. I'll do this. But you just end up not doing it. Yeah, it's just that crippling fear because I think the minute you do it is when you'll realize, you know what, it's not so bad.